What's going on, everybody? This is an update video. This is about one or two weeks after I finished setting up his excavator clay setup. It is 100% fully dry at this point. As you can see, it's pretty, you know, but it's rough, but you could definitely scratch it up and create a dull end in there. So basically, this is him. He just got done shedding, actually, from inside of this humid hide, which I moved, by the way, just so it was a little more safe and secure. But he just got done shedding, as you can see by how bright he is. As far as his tank goes, as you can see, it's looking really cool. You know, definitely mimics his natural habitat, as you can see from the background and everything. His carpet's got, you know, calcium on it, but it's all, all good. He, overall, is seeming way more happy. Look at him. He's way more happy in his new natural habitat. He's moving around a lot more, way more active. And as far as the actual excavator clay itself goes, you know, I mean, it's hard. He, he's not going to, you know, it's not, like, as bad as people say loose substrate. He's been sitting in his burrow right there all the time i always find him in there he'll be peeking out right in the little spot right there but you know overall he's been pretty happy in there as you can tell but he's you know way more active and he's eating well and everything you know so overall i would definitely recommend this if you're still on the fence i you know pretty sure that i've debated enough to show you that it's one of the best substrates out there for leopard geckos if you'd like to know anything else, leave a comment and I will be answering those. If that's it, then see you in the video.